What is up guys, Austin Nerd Joe here, and today we're doing this DC Multiverse set of what I would call probably Justice League Wave 2. So these are all figures for the Justice League movie, and this is the second wave, so some of these are pretty old obviously since the, the Justice League movie came out last year, but it was recently released on DVD. And, um, but it was hard to find some of these characters, especially the one over here, which I don't even know if you can see because of the light, but it's the Parademon. Um, it was super hard to find, and my brother eventually just ended up buying it online somewhere, and so that's why we just got it, and so now we're doing this video. But all these are kind of like additional characters or additional ver or um, changed versions of them. So down here we have a cyborg and, and Batman. So these two kind of go together. I'm not sure. I think these are maybe Walmart exclusives. I know we got them at Walmart. That's pretty much all the place I've seen them. But there's no like sign or anything say on here saying Walmart exclusive. But they come in different forms. So that um, of course we'll look at in detail. But the cyborg has like a covering on his face. The Batman is in a bit of a different outfit. He doesn't have the goggles like the normal Justice League one did. Then we have an Aquaman over here which kind of goes along with our set because the last set was a build a figure of Steppenwolf that we have here and so this just goes along with it. It's a shirtless Aquaman and then he comes with the helmet and head of Steppenwolf so you can kind of do a different combination there. Then up here again it's going to be hard to see because I can't fit everything into the camera but we have a Mare which of course is from the Justice League. She's a Atlantean and goes with Aquaman. Sometimes it's his sister, sometimes it's his wife. I, I think in the movie they played off as his sister but I know he's like married to her or there's some sort of family connection going on there with Mara. Then we have of course the parody I mentioned over here which is just a new character that they've added to the set in the second wave and then we have this um, from the page the screen set of so we have the comic book version of Flash the new 52 version over here it's hard to see and then the uh, movie version of Flash here that we'll of course look at and go into and stuff so we'll go ahead and just go through each one of these and um show the different things and what they come with and all sorts of stuff. It's hard to say because this is such a weird set, a combination of weird parts and pieces, but it's all for the Justice League, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first up here, we have the Batman for this set. So I, again, I don't remember exactly what's up with this Batman. And I do believe this is a Walmart exclusive, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But again, I don't know exactly what's up for it because the suit looks normal to me. Like, I don't understand. Like, I did can see, though, in the picture on, like, the back of the boxes that the original Batman did have the goggles on, like, that he wears in the movie at some points. Um, so I don't know if that's just what's different. But to me, his suit looks a lot blacker. But... I don't know all the details and I wish I had the figure here. I didn't think to grab it to do the video and stuff to compare it and everything. But it does look really metallic but again I don't know if that's you know if both of them are metallic color because you can kind of see the reflection going on throughout the suit of all the like dark gray color because there's dark gray and then like the bat logo is black then he has gauntlets that are black and gold as you can see the gold going on there and I guess so he has gold outlined on a bunch of his um, different like so he has on these like uh, spike gauntlet things then on his belt and on the ends of his boots I don't know if you can see those there and then like on his fingers and there are the knuckles of his gloves so it's got throws in some gold to go in there as well to kind of disperse the colors you know add some different detail going on to it as well um, so he just has the normal action, so of course he his arms move, but his uh, elbows don't bend at all, probably because of his gauntlets or arm uh, armor, whatever there, that his elbows don't bend hardly at all. But of course he has shoulder movement, he's got the ab crunches, the legs, the move at the hips and knees and everything. So he's got a lot of movement you can go on there besides the whole um, arm things. Then he has a, like a leathery... I don't know what kind of material it is. It kind of has like a little leather look to it. And so it's like leather on one side. Then it's like a soft material on the other underneath. But it's uh, all jagged cut or whatever there at the bottom like Batman's cape normally is but in the box it kind of curled up so it kind of curls forward instead of usually he has it curled back like usually because it drags the ground so it curls backwards but this time it's curling forwards which I guess is okay and we're at the same time but there's nothing really going on with these this Batman there's nothing real special about him or anything but of course he does come with the mother boxes so we have the Atlantean mother box and it's just a half of the box you can see inside there so we have the Atlantean the human and the Themyscirin mother boxes here. And so that's kind of what also makes it exclusive or whatever. It comes with these pieces of the mother boxes and goes along with the cyborg that we'll see next. So that's really it for Batman. So now we'll move on to Cyborg. So here's the cyborg now. So this cyborg is a bit different because the last character didn't have this face piece and it was a little bit like... So if you saw the movie... Um, as Cyborg like progressed through the movie, his armor got better and better over time and became like more fuller and covered more and more armor like and everything where you know start out like all scattered or not scattered but like uh, 
like internal pieces then over time it would you know increase its armor ability and become more looking like this but he, i do believe though in the movie he never had the full face covering i don't remember seeing if i may just missed it but i don't ever remember him seeing get the full face cover like he does here usually he it just showed his face usually the whole time but i like this character especially in the movie like i thought especially by the look of him i did not like it at all but i really enjoyed the character throughout the movie um so uh, he's got the armor all over him, as I said, and like I said, this looks like the more advanced version that he gets. I like the red going on here, because obviously he had the red, like, internal glowing inside of him. And so you can kind of see it poking out, so he's got the part in the chest, and then it's, like, through, like, the ribs area, and up around the neck as well. You can see some of the red glowing through. Of course, he has the red eye that he can shoot, like, lasers and stuff out of that he has, and he had that in the movie as well, that glow. And then the rest of him is just all robotic armor, so there's nothing really special going on besides that. It has all the same joint movements and everything things so nothing real special going on there's the back suit it's nice you can see the spine and stuff going on there i really like all that detail and everything and i just think it looks really cool it just looks like a big robot and i would have been i thought it'd be awesome to see this part in the movie of him looking like this but i like i said i don't remember it so if i did miss it or it could be like one of the um Sp deleted scenes or special feature things whatever they may show it in there but i think that looks really cool so other than that there's not really much to cyborg doesn't come with any weapons but he does come with the other pieces of the mother box so the Atlantean human and the themiscurian so we can now put all of those together so that's it for the cyborg and now we'll bring the other boxes in and kind of put them together i don't know what's going on with so this is the Atlantean one um so on the here's what they look like pretty similar this one kind of has a hole so i don't know if a piece broke off or something that's supposed to be there because this one has it but it looks kind of broken as you can kind of see but it kind of looks like it's a jewel or something that broke off like it's kind of supposed to be like that because you know it's uh in atlantis so it's kind of like buried treasure i guess you could say so maybe you know stuff over time in the water kind of like breaks off let's see if i can get it together so there we go so there we have the atlantean mother box there so obviously this is what um steppenwolf comes down to atlantis to get and fights Mir uh, mara and uh, aquaman and stuff like that for that so there's the atlantean one then we have the human one which i think looks really cool which of course we got to see the battle and it was given to like knights and stuff and so they took it and buried it and everything so there's the human not a whole lot of good detail going on there i just like the way it's looked and designed the color it's like a bronze bronze ish color if i can say it right so it just looks kind of cool and then we have or actually that was the mosquito so that's where um the wonder woman people fought. i don't know why i kind of messed that all up this one's the atlantean where so i guess i don't understand the whole connection or whatever of why um well, I guess you could still have runes because there are some runes at Themyscira and stuff where, again, where Wonder Woman lives. I don't know if I said that. I'm all confused and messed up on my places. But so you could have ruins and stuff so it kind of look like that. So maybe that's why it looks the way it does. But then this is the Atlantean one. And I don't understand the way it looks. As if you can kind of see, it's different colors. So this one's like a more dirtyish color and this one's more whiter. And so I don't understand why they should be the same color. Um... Mm. But I guess they go together. I think this looks really weird. It kind of reminds me of like the face of the... Um, oh, I forget what the book is called. But from like the Evil Dead. It looks like that weird face on the Evil Dead or something. Um, but there's the mother box for that. So of course we have the three mother boxes of Steppenwolf once. And it collects and everything to... Um, call back to his home planet or whatever that whole thing was but that's going to be it for the mother boxes and the cyborg and batman the next up we have aquaman so this is the aquaman from early on in the movie when bruce wayne goes to meet aquaman in the little like fishing village and stuff and he confronts arthur curry aquaman here and you know he's trying to get him to help join the justice league and everything and he ends up walking away and going into the ocean and so he takes his shirt off so this is aquaman has a shirt so he has all the body tattoos as you can see going on there i like how it looks like you know fish scales or his armor scales and stuff going on but you can see all the body tattoos and he's shirtless and everything so again that's a part of the movie there the way he takes that and then he's got no shoes as well because he has no shoes to swim and everything so again that's a part where he goes into the ocean and then swims across and ends up coming to atlantis and stuff like that and so there's not really much to him. He doesn't come with any weapons, doesn't have the trident or anything like that. Um, because obviously his last figure where he was did have his armor shirt on and the whole armor set going on. He did come with the trident. So he doesn't come with it this time obviously because he didn't have it at this point in the movie where he was swimming away. But he does kind of go with the set. So he did have um, the Steppenwolf build figure from the last part. So here is the Steppenwolf figure the whole giant build figure thing that we got in the with the original justice league set well 
Aquaman comes with this head, and so it's pretty much very similar. As you can see, they don't look much different. This one has a little bit more detail, I would say, probably. But the difference is, is you can take the helmet off, and this is what came with Aquaman. So he comes with the head, so you can switch it out. I just don't want to pull off, because I don't know what my brother wants on his figure. So you have the um, Steppenwolf head, so you can see his head there. And, of course, he has the little, like, mandible-looking things on his chin. And then, so there's what his head looks like and everything. As you can see, kind of plain and, basic, plain and basic, if I spit the words out right. And then he has his helmet here as well. And then you can just kind of stick it on top so you can have this. So if you want to bald, which I don't ever remember him not having his helmet in the movie until at the very end when he dies and he loses the helmet. But... I don't remember him just being bald, so you can have it that way if you want it. And it just kind of sticks on there. It's kind of tug or snug on his head. So you can fit that on there if you want as well to go along and switch the heads out if you want to. But that's going to be it for Aquaman. And next up here we have Mara. Or Mara. I don't know exactly how you say her name. I believe either way is correct or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But so she was obviously in the Justice League movie and she was in Atlantis, uh, of course, with Aquaman and stuff like that. And so she was there to protect the Mother Box when Steppenwolf came for it and everything. So she was fighting with him. We saw that. And so like I said earlier, sometimes I believe in most comics she's Aquaman's wife, but I don't I can't say that I'm 100% for sure, but it seemed like in the movie they're kind of portraying it as her or as his sister. So I don't know or it could just be some person and he, you know, maybe in the Aquaman movie because I assume she'll be back for that. Maybe they end up getting married or something and they're not related at all. But I don't know exactly, but um, something's going on along with them. And so he refers, so she's in her all green outfit, in an outfit very similar to what the Aquaman was, not the figure we just saw, but the one from the original set where he had all his armor on. So it's all green and gold as well as his was. So she's got some cool, like, boots going on there, some, like, modified heel shoes with um, some weird design going on there as well. Then she has the fins going on her legs, of course, because they like to throw fins and stuff in for swimming and stuff and I think her armor just looks super cool and I like all the design she has the armor plates on her shoulder that I think I, looks cool with the whole you know points going up in the air there and then she has some more fins going on her arms and everything and then she on her head she has the crown so I, this is you know supposed to be what she wears when she's like the queen of Atlantis because Aquaman's the king and so that's supposed to be her crown so I, again I don't know what the whole connection or is anything is going on in the movie there We'll have to find out until the Aquaman movie. And so there's nothing much more to her beyond that. But she does come with some stuff. So she does come with her staff. So it's kind of like Aquaman's triumph. But she just has a single staff. It's kind of like a spear. So point on the top end here. And then at the bottom it's supposed to be kind of like a fishing spear. So it has um, the point. Obviously the stab. And then it's got the um, part that you know. I forget what they call that, but um, like fishing hooks and stuff have it so it helps like keep the fish on the hook. And then it's also supposed to have one up here, but it just look, looks kind of like a round bit. And then the picture, it's supposed to be like a sharp point as well, kind of like this. So it's just, a, you know, extra stuff to go on, especially that more uh, danger into it stuff, especially when stabbing somebody or something with it. So you can have that as well for her little staff going on there. And then she does come with some hands, so you can switch out her hands to use put these in so it can be like she's shooting water out of her hands and just on the back of her box her box has some information so it says Mare is a great undersea warrior with hydrokinetic ability to manipulate water with her thoughts so if you saw her in the movie and that's why she also has this because obviously she can shoot water because she can control it in the movie she ended up you know putting a ball around Steppenwolf and completely you know, getting the water rid of, I don't know how to say, it, getting rid of all the water from the circle, and that caused that one with the fall really far and, you know, hurt himself or whatever. And so she was able to control the water like that because that's her abilities. And so that's all she comes with. She doesn't come with any other additional pieces or parts for the bill of figures or anything like that. So that's going to be it for Mura. The next up, we have the Parademon here, or as the box labels it as well, a Green Trooper. So these were the bad guys in the villain, like the henchmen for Steppenwolf, but I know they're also kind of like the henchmen for um, Darkseid, which of course is the big baddie that we'll eventually get to with the Justice League movies and everything. That's what they're building up to is Darkseid. And so again, these are like their little villains. They're like weird alien bug type creatures. So as you saw in the movie, so they do have the wings to fly and the weird, they're supposed to usually have like weird bug eyes and stuff, but they're more alienish as well um, with like the comic book versions also. And so I really like this. I like the green. I don't know how well it can show up on camera, but I like the green on it. It's all like green and black. So here's a close-up at its face. There, as you can see, it has like these weird glasses going on 
giving it those eyes against like they're supposed to be buggish but uh, it kind of doesn't work there and i like its face the way it's got the lines and details on its face going on there again to show that it's more alien and stuff and then it's got the green armor so again it just looks like some your normal armor um i don't really know any specialties going on with it does have a cool little like three circle belt buckle thing here that i think looks cool and some um little things going on there again it's hard to tell what all these are supposed to be on this outfit um it does look like it has some sort of like puck there for a gun possibly it's not open so you can't put any guns in or anything that's got some gold armor around its arm there along with the glasses and so there it's just all green and everything then of course it has wings here so the top wings move as you can see they move up and down like that and then of course the bottom wings can as well to make it more like they're flying but I don't know exactly what you're maybe you can fold it down when it's like not supposed to be flying or something I don't know maybe like that so then he can like stand and everything so he's not got the wings out but I like it a lot better with the wings out. Like he's flying like they do in the movie when they fly all over the place. And then he also does come with a gun. So he's got like the alien gun that we saw uh, uh, Bruce Wayne pick up or Batman, whatever you call him, pick up at one point in the movie and use that. So he does have this that you can probably find a way to fit it into his hand there as well. So he does come with a gun to help fight and everything because they do have the guns that they shoot with and all that. And he doesn't come with any other pieces or anything. He was just an additional set on to the uh, Justice League. And so I know Toys R Us was selling these. And then so once all this stuff is going on now where Toys R Us is going out of business and everything and we're like, well, we're probably never going to find this there. So we ended up just, or my brother just ended up ordering it online so we could finally get it and, get this, and do this video and everything. So that's going to be it for the Parademon. And lastly, here we have this Flash set. It's called the From Page to Screen, because obviously we're taking the comic book version of Flash, putting it onto the movie version from Justice League of Flash going on here. And so this is a kind of cool set. It kind of reminds me of the, like, old flash comic where it had the like old flash and the modern flash racing along together it's like the where they're doing the time travel and everything i don't know if it's called the flash point or if that's something different but i just think it's cool having these two together and all the stuff they come with and everything so this flash here i said was from the new 52 which is kind of more recent stuff it's actually from the dc rebirth which they pretty much took the current stuff and it's just the newer versions of the comics and stuff so we have the flash here so he's in his old comic version here um not old but it's the newer version so it has all these lines going on through it which i really like it adds more detail into the costume he's got the lightning belt of course the lightning logo on his head the lightning bolt on his or on his chest the lightning logos on his head there the wings kind of like captain america has that i like and so then he's got lightning on his arms and legs and everything then of course his gold boots there that kind of have the wings going on him of course cause, since he runs really fast and everything and then this figure does come with a lot of this lightning stuff that goes all over him. You can obviously just take it off if you want to. So he has this big piece on his back. And so you can just take it off and have a regular figure. But I like it, the way it looks on there. But you have this piece of lightning. Again, that attaches. There's holes going in the back. So you can just stick it in there like that. And then, of course, the parts on the arms are just little, like, grip things that just slide on the arms. So you can, like, pose him, you know, like he's running. And so it looks like the lightning's coming off of him as he's running and everything. And then we have the movie version. Of course, this is the Ezra Miller. And so this is a different kind of flash than, like, the one we got from the Justice League set. This one is, like, a clear. So you can, it's kind of probably hard to see. But you can kind of see inside of his body. So the plastic is, like, a, um opaque red. So you can kind of see through it and everything. And so we have the Flash outfit. So just like the normal one designed exactly the same as the old Flash character for the movie. And again, he has um, a bunch of different designs, kind of like this Flash, how they had added all the yellow lines this time. There are some like silver lines going on just to add more detail into the costume. He has a lightning bolt belt, the chest lightning bolt. Lightning, or the, these look more like wings on the side of his head instead of lightning bolts. Then he's got lightning bolts on his arms, by his elbows, and by on the top of his boots there as well. And some on the side of his boots or shoes or whatever. Some little lightning bolts there. Then, of course, he's got some hands that are like flat like he's running stuff and then he has the green lightning bolts because in the movie they put green lightning instead of yellow lightning for him and then he comes with some extra pieces so he does have the head so you can make it the ezra miller head there as well so if you rather have that instead and then he does have some like grasping hands as well or whatever you want to say these hand designs are instead of the flat ones like they're running 
And then of course also to go along with this we do have some displays so we can stick them on. So this is kind of like the um, Super Friends set we did not too long ago or where it had um, the figures on the bases and so had the bases with their logos. So we have the newer version from the movie just Flash and then of course the cartoon Flash. And then we have backgrounds to go with this so we have the blue lightning along with the movie version and yellow lightning with the comic book version. You could obviously just stick them by each other and you can do like you know similar poses and everything look like they're running or chasing along each other and everything so we have those stands as well that we can sit them on so obviously we can just like stick them on top here just to give the illusion that they're on the bases so that's gonna be it for the flash and so that's it for the last item out of this justice league what i'm calling wave two because they're all justice league figures but they kind of don't um all exactly belong together it's kind of a mismatch of different characters and stuff for the justice league characters in D the dc multiverse set so that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below in which character is your favorite out of all these characters we've got going on and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time